Greetings folks, let's have a look at Vanishing Point, a combination of Photoshop and After Effects and you can do things like this. Here we go. Whee! There we go. Now that looks like a camera pushing forward through a hotel corridor, but in fact it's a still image that I found on Google. So let's open this up and find out. Oop, there we go. There we are. How to transform this um, into uh, a 3D image that a camera in After Effects can move through. Now the way to do that is with Vanishing Point. So we'll go to Filter and this is in Photoshop. We're going to choose Vanishing Point. Here we go. And we get this window here. So what we need to do is we need to start by drawing our perspective lines. Here we go. That's my phone going off. There we are. Okay. And what you get? You get this. Okay. So this is our floor perspective. Now we need to just click on here, this grid, create plane tool, and that's going to let us draw a new plane. And we're going to draw that up to, uh, to where the ceiling is. Okay, back there, and let's pull it forward so we cover that. Let's do the same again. Okay, and let's add another one on this side. Okay, that should do it. Go to about the same place. Yeah, yep. Okay, pull that forward. Uh, add another one. Let's add, put, put, fill the back in. There we go. Do it. Not being totally precise here, but I think it usually doesn't matter too much. And finally, let's add a ceiling, and we want to make sure that that kind of uh, comes out a little more. So I'm just going to go to this one, stretch it out a little bit. Take this, stretch that out a little bit more too. Okay, I should do it back. There we go. Walls, ceiling. Oh, looks looks all right. Yeah. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to save this export for After Effects. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to pop it on my desktop just for ease of use. I'll just do a new folder. I'm going to call it Corridor. There we go. New folder. And I'm going to pop this Corridor in my folder there. And it's going to save it. And hopefully we can now go into my folder and uh, what we should see here, Corridor, there's all the files. So we're now finished with Photoshop. So we can close this. Okay. And we can close Photoshop and we don't need to save because we've got what we need. Okay. So part two is we've done our Photoshop work. We've made a vanishing point file. So what we need to do now is go into After Effects and import. Here we go. Vanishing points. Let's take that in. And there's our file that we made on the desktop corridor. We go import that. And then we'll just click on this composition. And there you go. And as you can see, it comes in a little wonky. And also, I want to make this um, a widescreen aspect ratio. So I'm just going to go to composition first, go to the composition settings. And I'm just going to change it to 1080. 8525. That should do it. Hit that. Okay. And the next thing, I'm just going to make this fit, is we want to uh, readjust. They always come in a bit off kilter, so I'm going to hit R because you'll see that all these here are the different. There we go, it's back. There we are. There are all these layers created with a 3D perspective now in Photoshop. So let's just take this. Rotation on the head. Let's move this around. All these layers are parented to this null. Take that to about, um, let's try tw 21. That looks good. Okay. And uh, just press P because we made the screen a bit smaller. I'm just going to take the position of that back until we get the edges. There we go. Just like that. Okay, so now we've got it 
pretty much set up. But one thing I like to do is, if you notice the camera position, the camera position is like minus 33,000 and, and when you're adding things to the layer, that can be a little bit problematic because you put a, some, an object in there, you make it 3D and, and it could be anywhere. You've got to find it and drag it around and bring it back. So what I tend to do now, just to make things a little easier, I take all these layers and I parent them to the camera. And then on the camera, I change the position to zero in, in the Z, the Z. There you go. Nothing changes because they're all parented together. And then I just parent them back as they were. And now when I go to my custom view, there you go. We can see now, scroll out a bit. It's quite easy to see. There's the camera. And rather than it being spread out somewhere where it usually is that you can't find it. So um, the only thing is now with the camera, when I move the position, what happens is you'll see it kind of flips around. So if I want to do an animation on the camera, move the camera forward, oh, it suddenly goes backwards. Um, that's to do with this, the point of interest of the camera is zero. So when we move beyond zero, it flips. Really easy quick fix on there. I'm going to alt click on point of interest and just pick whip it to position. There we go. Now, when I move the camera position forward, the point of interest stays with this camera's position. So that's fixed that. And that means now that we can just put some text in here. We can put some text. I'm going to type, I'm going to type the word horror. There we go. And I just, uh, like that, let's move it about. I'm going to make it 3D and it will disappear now just because look at our custom view. It's just at the uh, zero point where the camera is. So I'm just going to move that in Z space forward and bring it up until it's in front of our camera. Go back to my active camera. There it is. Just move it about until I've got it kind of in the right place. Let's have it on those bars. Just press P. I'll just move the uh, move that until uh, that looks okay. A good starting point. Okay. So we've now got that, and then I'm just going to duplicate that layer. Command D, and press P. I'm just going to push this layer back, and maybe just bring it up like so, something like that, and change this to. Uh, Hotel. Oops, make it caps. Hotel. Hover Hotel. Yes, indeed. And you can position these where you want. But now you can see that we can... Um, I'll push this back a little further as well. Here we go. And just move it about. Uh, something like that. Just... Uh, okay. So now if we put a P on the camera's position, we can put a keyframe here and I'm just going to make this 10 seconds long. So I'm just going to go to like 10 seconds here. There we go. It's a little shorter, a little more manageable it's composition. I'm just going to trim comp to work area. There we go. A little bit shorter. And at the end of the composition, I'm going to move it forward. So we go through the word horror and into the word hotel there we go and i may just shift the position of the camera so that as it comes through it kind of centers a little more on the word hotel and just bring that there we go so that that's that will do i may even bring that a little Keep it coming forward. Okay. So we've got horror hotel. You can see we've got a nice make it fit. We're getting this nice 3D corridor and a 3D sort of parallax as we move through the words, which is great. And so let's just put a few effects on this to make it a bit more horrific. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rough edges. Oops, 
that's my spelling rough and edgy so i'm going to put that on the text let's start on horror there we go we're making it a bit more horrific i'm going to increase the border there we go something like that okay and what i'm going to do is as the camera kind of gets towards the end i'm going to keyframe that border and then i'm going to sort of come to where it sort of finishes off here and i'm going to take that to the maximum all the way up there we go so it's kind of it kind of disintegrates in a ghostly fashion as we come through and then as it's coming through so back here let's just take the word hotel there we go i'm going to put rougher edges on that and let's just crease that a little bit something like that so uh it's going to come forward okay so we put a key frame here on the border that's how we want it to finish and then we can just come back to where our words are disappearing uh, maybe about here we'll start to bring the word hotel in so we're just going to come to border and i'm just going to take this all the way up, up until the word disappears uh, should, there we go all right so then as it comes through then our word hotel starts to come into focus and now i'm just going to go to layer i'm just going to add a bit of uh zhuzh onto this i'm going to add an outer glow uh outer glow here we go make it red good old oh, deep red kind of thing fabulous Make it a bit bigger. There we go. Spread it out a little more. Okay. It's looking better. And then I'm just going to copy that. Paste that onto this layer. All right. And then, just to give the uh, corridor, give it a bit more of a spooky look. I'm going to go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. I'm going to drop that on top of just the uh, corridors layers and I'm going to just put some curves on this let's just uh, darken that off so let's just really punch that in oh looking better already classic little s curve maybe go to the reds let's uh, maybe take a bit of red out of the darks and put a little bit more red in the brights Give it that sort of greenish shadow look. Okay. And. There you go. You've got your horror hotel vanishing point file from a single JPEG that I found on Google. There we go. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.